Hello everyone. Um, I hope your Tuesday is awesome. Um, so, um, today I'm doing not really a review. Um, I bought this product off of Wet n Wild site. And you can't get it anymore on their site. But I got this while, I'm glad I grabbed it. As soon as I saw it, I wanted to try it. But I will be posting links where you can get it if you are interested. So, um, this is what I bought off of their site. Alright, and I've not had a um, liquid highlighter before, so this will be interesting. And this is in, um, who's that pearl? It says featherweight finish, ultra blendable, super convenient. So I'm going to be um, applying this today and we will see how it is. So I have a face of, except for a few things, all wet and wild. So um, to begin, the products that are not wet and wild are, um, today I used a primer potion, uh, for my eyes, all right, <clears throat> excuse me, and then, uh, Milani, my Milani Supreme Cold Gel, and then, um, um, I have T-Zone, so, where I don't have T-Zone, I use my hydrating spackle. And then, um, my liquid, uh, Milani, um, 17-hour liquid on my top lash line. Alright. Then the products that are wet and wild. Alright, so today I used my Photo Focus Stick. And... These sticks, they tell you uh, how to find your foundation um, right above the cruelty-free bunny there. Okay, in fact, it's on the other side, just a minute. Um, the cruelty-free bunny, above that, it says shell ivory, and then underneath that it says fair cool. See that? Now, every stick has something similar um like it'll either say fair fair cool um fair warm fair neutral <coughs> excuse me light um cool um uh medium cool dark cool um dark fair um um, yeah, um, uh, light or medium, warm, medium, neutral, that kind of thing. So, you know that this is, Shell Ivory is fair skin and cool toned, and cool tones are pinks. So, I'll show you that really quickly here, and I really like this stick. It is really creamy to work with, so... I really like it. All right. Now, that's my foundation for today. And I set that with um, uh, my Wet n Wild coverall. All right. And you can get this on their site. All right. And then um, my eyes, uh, Milani in the waterline. Um, but Wet n Wild. Um, and this is, um, liquid cat suit. Um, this is the metallic liquid cat suit in, uh, Ruby Heist. And it's really, really beautiful. A really beautiful iridescent, uh, red. All right. So that is everything except, um, I'm doing my face and I'm going to be using, um, Wet n Wild Color Icon, 
and um, I had to really uh, scratch the top, not take the top layer off, if you will, to use it because it it comes across light. Um, but um, and then I've been using um, a concealer brush. I tried using um, my blush brush. Um, um, and it was just too big. It needs, this needs, this needs a firm, uh, brush to work with. Um, uh, I even applied with my fingers and it does, it does apply. All right. But it just, uh, that hasn't been applying the, uh, traditional way a blush would apply. So this is what my face looks like right now. And, um, also I have not, um, opened this blush. We're going, not brush, blush, highlight. We're going to open it together. I did not open it, look at it, try it, anything like that. So this is what my face looks like right now. All right. So there's no blush, highlight, nothing. All right. So I am going to, um, um, get started on my blush um, because I want to make sure that it is applied correctly um, you know and I really had to pack it on with this um, brush and no it's not a blush brush okay so I just showed you this it does you know it is a little a tad messy in the pan, but, um, that's how, um, I don't mind it being somewhat, um, powdery, you know, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, uh, go in the air, it stays in the pan, but I would rather it be, you know, gathered powder that at least I know that it is getting on the brush and it is applying if it didn't do that at all I would be and I did several swatches um one swatch with fingers and one swatch with this brush on my arm to make sure that it was um applying and it was so um the brush at that time uh, it didn't apply as heavy if you will as it did my fingers but I think if I just uh, keep applying um, with the brush and I don't tap it I just you know put the product on the brush and then um, um, blend it on my um, face so but once it's on, it is so pretty. It really is. Uh, the pink and the purple work really, really well together. So I do like that. I would have liked for Wet n Wild to make it a little bit darker, um, the blush. But it's okay, though, you know. It, it's working. It's going on, but I am glad that I took the top portion off the blush because I was just going to, my thoughts were to take the blush, um, just add this, this panel together and then, uh, crush it up and put it in a, like a loose blush powder, a powder blush. Um, and then apply it like that and I still may do that um, just take it out of this pan completely and put it in a um, container with the lid and uh, you know then you know you just stick your brush your blush brush or whatever you use in the container and you know 
get the product on the bristles, tap a little bit, and then apply. So I still might do that. So, um, I have another video coming up here shortly. You will see, um, with all new product and, um, something I have not seen. Well, I did once. I saw this one, this particular product, uh, that I saw when I was out. I, um, not the same product that I bought. But I have, uh, I have seen this product, uh, the category, if you will, that I bought um, before, and that had been once, once, only one time had I seen at that time a product, um, something that. Um, um, that I need um, for myself. Um, I hadn't seen, I had not witnessed or looked at. Uh, none had been available that I had looked at up until then. That product was on the internet. So I was out shopping not too long ago and I found another one, not the, not the same brand, not the same type of product, but uh, it also has the type of product that I need. So I found it. So I bought it. And uh, we are going to be having a look at that here in a bit. Not today, but we will be taking a look at it. Okay. So I have applied the blush. And I am going to um, uh, show you what it looks like. And again, it really is pretty. Um, so, there was a top layer to this blush. And as you can see, I've used it a lot. Um, but I'm going to swatch it with fingers. And I'm really... It's a purpley pink blush. It's not straight pink. But it really is pretty once applied. The pink is at the top and the lavendery purple is at the bottom. And yes, it's supposed to be an ombre. I think again that Wet n Wild could have done a lot better with this blush. But it is so beautiful when it's applied and you can actually see it. So I'm going to show you that. And um, then we will take a look at um in fact, I'm going to do a swatch on my arm so that you can really see it. Um, um, then we'll take a look at um, this highlighter. I mean, you really have to build it up. That's the one thing. Uh, I don't like, but the thing is, is if you can get, it needs a really thick, bristle, dense, firm brush, not, not a, a great big, soft, bristled, um, brush, you know, like a, um, a regular blush brush or, um, a powder brush. It needs a really, really, really firm, um, let's see. All right, so I applied the blush to my arm right there. Let me see if I can apply a little bit more. I mean, you know, it, um, they should have made this, the pink a little bit darker and the purple the same, but there, I think, I think I got it, um, dark enough there, you can see that, um, this is what my finger looks like right now, so, 
So, all right, that, that's what it looks like in a swatch after you build it up. All right, so I'm going to show you what this looks like in just a moment, and then we will apply the highlighter. All right, so this is what we started out with. This is before my blush, okay? And now, better. All right, now I'm going to open um, the highlight. So again, I did get this on their site and it is not on their site now. They sold out um, pretty quickly, but it is on Walmart site. So I will be uh, linking um, um, Walmart's um site and um, the highlighter in the description box at the bottom so you can go there and um, see what they have so just a minute I have not opened this at all and so there we go there we go it unscrews up for some reason I was thinking a flip cap all right, so it has, um, whoops. <laughs> All right, it's got a little, uh, oh, really weird. Okay, so odd. Okay, so I bought this off their site, and this is how the pad looks, which is supposed to be applying the, um, uh, that's what you're supposed to use and actually I don't know why but it looks dirty because I've not ever opened this before so I don't know what's up with that and really weird um, they didn't even have this at Walmart when I was there so I don't know what's going on with that but all right so I'm going to put that there because I don't think I'll be using um, all right, so this is the sponge on the inside that has the product. And, you know, there don't aren't any holes on the top where the little sponge sits. So I don't know what's going on. But I will swatch this right now for you. So... Um, you can take a look at the color, but look how pretty that is. I can't wait to try it. Okay. So I'm going to put that down and, um, oh, so I left the swatch of the blush. So I'm just going to, um, put the highlighter on top of that like I would. Okay. So this is the highlighter. That's pretty. It's really pretty. All right. So, um, um, I was thinking about, I thought about to begin with using, uh, the sponge that it came in, uh, that came with the, um, highlighter, but I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and use my own sponge um so i'm letting it set and that is how it looks together so um i don't know i could even do it with my hands but i don't know if i want to do that so i'm going to go get my brush and i'll be right back not my brush, my, um, 
you know, I even have my, um, I have, uh, my Smashbox cream blush brush. So I think what I'll do is I'll get both and then we'll see which one we like the best. Sponge or, um, brush. All right, everyone. So I got my sponge, um, for applying on one side and then I've got my Smashbox cream cheek brush for applying on the other and we will see which one that we like so this is the brush and this is the first time I'll be using it for a, a cream highlighter so um, I'm excited for that so let me First, apply with um, um, my um, sponge, and then we will head on into um, my. Um, Brush. I know what I'm thinking about. Uh, I don't just get quiet because uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm I was removing the lid, so I'm applying now with my sponge, um, and it's going to be overlapping blush a little bit because I um applied the blush up into my temple area when I applied it so it's going to be highlight on top of blush and interestingly um, with my um, sponge in the very um, where I started to apply going toward my nose area not that far in but you'll see it it's really heavy there so I'm seeing if I can blend it back farther but I don't know all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, brush and see that application that way. All right, so I'm going to put this back on top of there and I'll put that there and then now I'm going to gently and lightly apply um, the highlight with my brush okay so well I definitely like the application uh, better with my brush uh, mainly because my brush uh, is uh, more controllable I mean, I can just um, lightly dab um, against my um, cheek as I go, but it did the same thing, so on both sides, so I'm thinking that it's just the, it's just the blush, not the blush, the highlight, just the highlight. Okay, so... I don't know, I still think I like the blush, the brush better. I think so. Okay, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right, I think I do like the blush, the brush, my brush better with this. I don't know if I'll like uh, my cream I don't know if I'll like it better uh, with uh, a liquid highlighter all the time, um, but with this one I do. 
So, and then half, after having applied it two ways, two different ways, um, I did like um, having more control over uh, application. All right, so. All right, so 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 it's all right. Um. It's all right. They both look the same. Uh, actually, no, they don't. All right. Um, the one with my sponge is definitely heavier. So... All right. Yeah, the one with my um sponge is heavier than the one with the brush. Okay. All right. So the one with the brush is this. All right. That's the one with the brush. Okay. And then uh, my sponge. I apologize for the. Looks like I'm looking down. All right, it's heavier with my sponge, the application is, and not as much. Or again, um, it uh, I like the way the application better. I was um, able to um, direct um, the application better with my... Um, brush so that's why so uh, I think I definitely like it with um, uh, my brush better with this highlighter so uh, it's all right um, I don't know I'm going to have to use it more and see whether I like um, powder you know, or uh, the liquid better. Um, uh, one thing I like about powder is that also is a little bit more controllable, um, you know, because it's a powder. Um, you know, if you get it somewhere on your face where, you know, you don't like it, you know, you can fix it. Uh, somewhat, and I don't know about um, um, liquid because I this is my first time, so we'll see. But you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So, um, so my thought is is you know it's all right, um, but. Uh, I will again um, 
put the link down in the description box. Um, so if you want, if you already have this and you really like it, and you know, um, um, you want to buy more, you can. And if you haven't tried this and you know, you like the way it looks, um, you can go check it out on Walmart site. So, all right. So, um, to set, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to get my setting spray so I can set my face. And, uh, all this is pretty much set. So this is how it looks like set. All right. And there is absolutely, hmm, did I take, I might, this watch might have come off a little bit because of all my moving around. And yeah, it looks like it did. So, um, um, there's, no, it is on there a little bit. If you can see it still. All right. So, uh, I used Smashbox setting spray. So I'm getting that now. I don't have a wet and wild setting spray. So I'm setting with this. All right. So I'm going to do that now and shake this really well and then you oh and take the cap off you shake it really well and then you just spray and it sets so all right so so i think that um that wraps up the video um, for this highlighter. I wanted to get this. I have this other uh, video of product. Not Wet n Wild product. Something else. But I wanted to get this up uh, because this is time sensitive. Being it, It's not on Ulta site and it's not on Wet n Wild site anymore. So... It is at Walmart site, so my thought was I wanted to get this up and going. So if you know you decide that you like the highlighter, you can go in there and buy it. So, um, so that is why uh, I got this up. I'm getting this going now, um, but I have this other video that's coming. You'll find out. So. That is all for this video, and thank you so very much for watching, and, um, you know, I don't know, uh, I don't know about this, uh, liquid highlighter. I think I definitely like, uh, the powder, not the powder, the brush application better than I like the sponge application, uh, just because of, um, um, you know, I was able to direct it better and, um, just the application. So, um, but you know, they have other liquid highlighters and I'll see, you know, it could be, I could be with sponge with some. So, all right, everyone, that is all for this video. And, um, I don't know. I still don't know what's going on with this, with that, you know, so I don't know if that was just, um, you know, just how something that happened on one wild side or what kind of weird because they usually don't come like that. So be it highlighter, be it foundation, um, you know, blush. All right. So everyone, I will see you later. Have a great day. And I will see you all in my next video. And to all my new people, welcome. Um, subs, thank you for subbing. Everyone, uh, like, all right. And click the notify because many more videos 
are coming your way. So, all right, everybody. I will see you later. And have a good one, everyone.